Welcome back to my channel. I had recorded how I did the resin pour onto this dish and added the crushed glass. Uh, for some reason, uh, the video disappeared. So I'm starting from where I am taking it off the dish and placing it over the mold that I'm going to be using to shape. I Unfortunately, I did this too early. I should have waited probably about another hour. Didn't realize that I was um, going to end up having some drippage down the sides. I was kind of upset, but I was able to work with it and um, <laughs> fix my mistakes. Um, so like I said, uh, definitely test and make sure you're removing it off the dish at the right time before you place it over whatever you're using as a mold to shape. Um, in this piece, I'm using a deep red. I placed black in the center and just allowed the resin to do what it wanted to do. Again, placing the glass around the edges. So here I am just trying to see if I can get it to sit properly and now it's the waiting game so um i let this sit um until the next day and then i started taking it off the um dish that i used as a mold um again i had a lot of um uh, drips down the side I was kind of upset about it, not sure if it was going to work or not. Had a heck of a time getting the plastic um, to remove. Um, I sped things up and clipped out some of my struggling with the <laughs> plastic. Uh, again, you can see the drips that I had um, come down the side. I was able to clip them off. I also ended up with... Um, some open sides. I think that could have been because the resin was dripping so much it thinned itself out. Uh, what I decided to do was pull out some of my UV resin and um, put the UV resin down the creases where um, there was a split. This worked actually really, really good. Um, so if you guys ever have any kind of problems with that, UV resin is the way to go. It's instant, instant fix. Um, so once I got um, all the little creases to seal back up and become solid again, um, I was really happy with this piece. Um, I ended up having to do a little bit more work than what I was hoping that I was going to have to do. So here I am just using a UV light uh, just to get it to set fast um, before putting it under the UV lamp. The light works really good um, just so you don't have to keep holding things in place. Uh, once um, I was finished with this part uh, and I had to use a little bit of UV resin along the top edges where I had clipped off some of the dripped pieces. Again, another instant fix. Um, you're able to add a little bit of uh, shine back to the cut edges. Worked out really good. Like I said, UV resin is the way to go for any kind of quick fi fixes. Um, here you can see where I've clipped off some of the pieces at the top. The UV resin added the instant shine. Um, the camera's not picking up how deep red this piece turned out. Um, here are a couple photos showing you. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again soon.